Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with another quilt top tutorial. You might have seen this fabric in one of my recent fabric unboxings. This was actually something I picked up at Marden's and in the video I remember saying something like, I don't know why I bought this. And then I even said it wasn't on sale. I just didn't have a plan for it. I, well, come to find out when I looked at the slip that was attached to it, it was on sale. So that must be why I picked it up. And I thought, seems to me I have this already in my stash. The colors looked very familiar. So I looked in a box of fabric that I bought about a year ago from Martin's. Same exact colors. This one looks whiter because there's more white. I looked on the selvage to see the little color charts and look, those are the exact same colors. I immediately got excited and said, I have to do something with these because I love stripes and I love chevron. I couldn't believe I had them in the same colors and I thought half square triangles. I'm just going to make big half square triangles and I'm going to let the print be the, you know, the creative part of this quilt top. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So let me just move these aside. Oh, and I did want to tell you that if you're interested in making this identical quilt, I have the 24 10 inch squares that you need to do it. I only have two sets like this. So go check the link down below. It'll take you to eBay where you can buy this. And I'm sure this little quilt top will be on eBay too, starting at a penny. That will be an auction. I'm not going to cut right now because I already have all mine cut. But what you need is a yard of two different prints, whatever kind of prints you want. A yard will give you some wiggle room and it'll also give you some leftovers for your scrap pile. You need three 10 inch strips. So what I do is if I have a lot of yardage, I just cut off about a yard or a little bit over 30 inches because I really only need 30 inches. Press that, then you come back and you just, you know, fold it over, you put it on your mat, you trim your ends to clean that up and then 10, 10, 10. Easy as that. Then you would just take each strip, let's see, let's use this as an example, and you keep it folded and then you put that on your mat and you trim the edges and then 10, 10. So you get four blocks out of each strip. You will have six strips total, three in each color, so that's a total of 24 blocks, 12 of each, you know, color, print, whatever. Then you are going to take two of them and you're going to decide how you want to do it. Here's what I went with. I went with the chevron down first, vertical. And then the stripes, I wanted that horizontal. So you can see the stripes are going this way. The chevron, you know, the points are going up and down. And if you want all your blocks to be identical, you have to do the same exact thing each time or they will be different, including which diagonal you're going to cut on. I'm going to cut top left to bottom right. Now, if you want to see what that looks like, you can just fold your piece back. And that's the design I get. Everything is going vertical. Let's say for the heck of it, I had put it this way, where I started with everything vertical. Let me flip that back. And you'll see, now I have this vertical, this horizontal. So it's all up to you. I just decided to do it this way. And if you cut in the other direction, it's going to be like the flipped image of that. So like what was on the left on one block is now on the right on the other. You can do that too for different designs. And what you would want to do is you'd want to do half of your sets like this in one direction and the other half in this direction. But I went with easy. I didn't have to think a lot. So I just laid them out the way I wanted. Make sure you lay them out always the same way, whatever you decide. And then since my ruler doesn't go across, you know, you certainly can draw a line with your ruler. I just would flip it like this and then I pressed it. And then you sew about a quarter of an inch away from the center line on each side. When you're done, you cut 
on the line. You end up with this, and it makes two identical blocks. See? Identical. Do that again, and you end up with four identical blocks. And this is where the fun begins. You get to decide what kind of pattern you want. I went with the typical diamond. I took all my chevron and I pointed them to the center. And just look at how wild that is. To me, it just looks like some kind of funky maze in the center with the stripes around it. I just absolutely love it so much. Do love. You could do... Um, something like this, turn these guys. You could do this, and it makes like diagonal lines. So I'm doing it like that. So I'm going to sew, no, 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 this is not right. Where am I? This way, okay, diamond. So I'm going to sew this one to this one. Oh, and I trimmed these to nine inches because you're going to need to trim them no matter what. It's never going to come out perfect, even if you start with perfect squares. And There's a way to trim half square triangles, and I don't have a video for that. So just go search how to trim half square triangles on YouTube, and I'm sure you will find so many videos that can help you. If you don't trim them the right way, what's going to happen is your diagonal is no longer going to fall corner to corner. It'll be offset a little bit, and that's not the end of the world. Still use those blocks, still slap them together. It's barely going to show with all the busyness that's going on, so just don't worry about it. Trim them the best you can, and uh, you'll be good. So now I'm going to go sew this one to there, and this one to there, and I'm going to be sewing on these edges. Now I have this. These are sewn together. At this point, I still just finger pressed. And I pressed this seam to go to the right and this seam to go to the left so that when I do this, they will nest. Match it up by the seams. And if one of your edges is a little longer than the other, that's okay. That can all get trimmed after the fact. So I just push those together and I am going to go sew right along that line. And I love to show you my not perfect intersections, but seriously, with this print, it's very hard to tell that that's off by a little bit. You know, probably by an eighth of an inch. I'm good with that. At this point, I am going to press my block. This block is done. You are going to make six total, just like this which I have already done. I had to move you up a bit so you can see a little bit better. You're going to take two blocks and sew them together. And again, I look at the intersection and I'm going to be flipping this here. And I'm going to be matching up my intersection as best as I can. And if one piece is a little bit longer than the other, and one will be, I just trim that after the fact. So I'm just going to sew and then I will trim to make them even. I actually just turned one of my blocks and it fit like perfectly so I went with that so I don't even have to trim any of this at this point. Now you can go press the center seam and then you're going to make two more rows like this so it's three rows total. The quilt is two big blocks by three big blocks. Now I have my three rows done. I just need to sew them together and then we will be done and I will lay it on the bed and we will look at it. This came out so cool. I absolutely love it. You would not have to start with 10 inch squares if you didn't want. If you would like to have a lot of little diamonds, you could do six inch squares, five inch squares and make your half square triangles, make a bunch of them and slap it together. I went with big squares for the sake of time. I wanted this to be a one-hour quilt top, and it certainly is. Even if you have to cut your own fabric, that part doesn't take long because you're just cutting some big 10-inch squares. This ended up being about 34 inches wide and 50 inches tall, so it's a good size. If you like the big squares and you'd like this to be bigger, well, then you just have to make some more big blocks and sew them together. I really love the way I cut the chevron diamonds, how they're so wacky 
absolutely love that. My intersections are not perfect. Let's look at this one up close. We can see it's off by quite a bit. See? Off. But it doesn't show at all. It looks like it was meant to be that way because of the stripes. This one is way off by, geez, I don't know, almost a quarter of an inch. Again, no matter how you look at it, it looks good. If you want those packs of pre-cuts, please know that I am human. And even though I'm using a mat, a ruler, and a rotary cutter, it's not perfect. And yes, I pressed and cut. I did it all the right way. But even the ones I cut for myself, you know, sometimes they're a little bit off. Slap them together and trim after the fact. But I do want you guys to know that I'm not professing to be some kind of expert cutter. You know? <laughs> but they were done with a rotary cutter. I was careful. I hope you give this a try. I will definitely be doing more with half square triangles because they're just so easy and they're very fun. So the links are down below for the pre-cuts and also for the penny auction. The penny auction is for all countries, but it's only free shipping for the USA. Outside the USA, you need to pay the shipping through eBay's global shipping program. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. Bye.